Hey guys, long time no journal. <laughs> it's been a real long time since I made a bullet journal video and I've actually never done a keep up journal video, which is what I'm doing today. So basically, keep up journaling is something that I've gotten more into lately, also because I've gotten more into keep up lately. I used to be super super into it, then I kind of grew out of it, I guess. But last year I fell into a rabbit hole called Stray Kids and now I'm kind of stuck there. So today I'm doing a spread for my bias in Stray Kids, who is Felix. I decided to go with a kind of pink pastel -y look to match the picture of him that I chose. Uh, I only chose one picture of him and to fill the spirit out I cut out lots of decorative pictures that kind of match the feeling. Lately I've been into I guess the opposite of less is more, kind of more is more, just putting lots and lots of stuff into spreads and making it so that you don't really know what to focus on because there's always something new to see and like how lots of smaller pictures make a beautiful big picture it's not for everyone i know a lot of people like more minimalistic spreads and just things in life but i don't know i've kind of moved my mess from <laughs> the world surrounding me onto paper that being said, my desk is extremely messy in this footage. I'm sorry, it's... Okay, who am I lying to? It's extremely messy all the time. <laughs> I have no excuse. I also like working a lot with depth. So some of the decorative pictures are underneath, like the centerpiece, and somewhere above to make it a little less flat. And I wanted to make it a two-page spread, so on the right side I used an old envelope that I got a long time ago. And then on that I put this picture of, it's a meme of Jisung, also from Stray Kid, where he's pointing and saying, Mom, I love him, because, you know, I thought it was kind of cute that he's pointing at Felix and, you know, I'm a... I like him a lot. So next I'm picking out which washi tape I wanted to use and I decided to go for a pink and blue theme to match the pictures. I wanted to bring out the blue in the sky, the clouds and the flowers uh, and also to match uh, the picture of Jisung on the right side and I kind of bring the blue into the rest of the spread. I also used these cherry blossom sticky notes so I played around with the placement a little bit then I glued it on. Some time ago my adhesive tape thingy it ran out and I haven't bothered to get a replacement so I've just been using my old glue stick that's been laying around forever and you know it's kind of messy but so am I it works fine. Now I'm just playing around with stickers, just putting cherry blossoms everywhere because I apparently can't get enough of <laughs> cherry blossoms. I also later decided to add in some purple to match the clouds and I think it brought out like a little more dimension. I don't know if that's the right word even. I thought the right side was a little empty so I decided to write out mood under Jason. Uh, it kind of ended up being the wrong color and it didn't show up very well but then I went over it with a brown pen and added a little shadow and I think that made it a little better. The brown kind of matched the warmer undertone, undertones in some of the other pictures. Then because as I said I really really love cherry blossoms I just added some doodles, nothing flashy, I'm not really that good at drawing but just little doodles, a little more personal touch cherry blossoms all over the place. <laughs> some complete flowers and some just petals. And the right side still felt a little empty so I added more of the clouds that I used on the right side, like more of that picture that I cut out. 
As you can see, my brain is really more is more right now. I just, I don't know. I just love the feeling of being able to find something new all, every time you look at something. Also, I love a peach almost as much as I love cherry blossoms, so <laughs> I decided to add in the sticky notes that I bought in Korea last summer, played around with the placement a little bit, and glued them on. There's just something about a peach, guys. I just love them so much. I also added some other miscellaneous stickers. More cherry blossoms, of course. <laughs> I'm trying to get better at using the stationary stickers and washi tapes that I've curated over the years and honestly it's been a lot of fun. And here's the finished product. It's nothing flashy, it's kind of messy, but you know, it's kind of cute. I hope you enjoyed watching and I'll see you next time. It's Dance Stray Kids. Hehehehe <laughs>